This 6'3 guard build has a 99 mid range. And after going on a 100 plus game win streak with it and having a 99 win percent with it to start season two, I had to make this video for y'all to show it off. So if you want a guard build that can shoot crazy well, unlock every drill move in the game, play great defense, and finish at the rack consistently, then drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and watch the rest of this video because I got y'all. What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And I am officially, finally going to show y'all my 6-3 guard build. Now, you guys have been asking for this build when I've been live on Twitch, YouTube, asking what the build is, how to make it. So today, that's what we're going to do finally. And I'm also going to show along with the build that I made multiple other versions that you can make, like a 10 cap breaker version, a 5 cap breaker version, a 0 cap breaker version, and even a couple extra versions you may like just in case. But before we get into how to make the build, showing my jump shot and the animations I use along with it, let's show some gameplay of this build so you can see how this build looks in game. So starting off with some shooting clips here. Now, I don't have a ton of footage that I'm going to show in this video, but definitely enough so you can see how well this build shoots from the mid-range area, what kind of defense is it's looking like, and also what kind of drill moves you can do with this build that we'll show in the my court. Now, as you can see, Legend Mini Marksman, I don't know if that's the badge that's affecting me just getting opens even when I'm falling down, but this build from the mid-range area is obviously lethal. You see I'm making reds, I'm hitting shots when I'm falling on the ground. People are jumping at me. I'm spinning through two defenders. Like this build is crazy with the 99 mid range. Cause as you guys know, that's what it gets. And it does get an 89 three pointer as well. And according to 2K Labs, like we'll talk about later, but look at that shot right there. Oh my God, I literally got knocked down, still made it. But according to 2K Labs, the 89 three pointer has a very similar make percentage to 99 in this game. So it's really just about badges when shooting from three, as long as you have an 89 three pointer. And this build, as you guys know, is going to get legend shooting badges because it has a 99 mid range outside of limitless range. And silver limitless is good enough, in my opinion. So the shooting, as you see, look at that pass. I threw it between that dude's legs right there off the inbound and then make the mid range fade. It's kind of crazy because this build doesn't have a high pass act and I'm passing through the dude's legs. Like that's kind of crazy. And once again, getting knocked to the floor, it says an open. Now, that was a taller defender guarding me. So that legend mini marksman going crazy. This build gets the best drill moves in the game. It has a 95 ball handle. Mine has a 96 ball handle. So you literally unlock every single one in the game. Look at all these mid ranges that I'm making where I'm literally falling to the floor and they're open and they're green. Some are lightly, some are tight, but like, dude, this build is insane for mid range. Like I end games super fast with this build. I level up super fast because of it too. This is the same build that I was using in that heat check video. If you guys watch that video, here are the heat check clips from that video. If not, uh, this is also the same build that I um, was using in that Veteran 2 video. So yeah, we've been going crazy with this build for a while now. So it's about time that I showed you guys how to make the build, some other versions to make the build because you guys have been asking for a while now and it's double H approved. You know, I got it to 99 overall. I'm having a lot of success with it. And that's what I like to do with my builds, you know, test them out, see if they're good, get it to 99 first. And this build definitely passed the test. It's probably i would say my best build i have right now and if i had to pick one build that i'd have to wager with it would be this build 100 uh it also gets some crazy step back hop jumper shots like that one right there with the davion mitchell hop jumper and there's a lot of space to create with that hop jumper and it just makes the mid-range that much better with uh having that hop jumper on you know that 99 mid-range combination not only that this build can get ankle breakers now i'm not going to be showing a ton of ankle breaker uh ankle breaker clips a ton of defensive clips, a ton of driving dunk clips because I just wasn't clipping me dunking the ball really because this building has an 82 dunk. But just know it gets really good standing dunks, fast standing dunks, and very good safe dunks. Like, look at how fast I just standing dunk over those two guys right there. Anyways, moving on to the defense, the lanes are crazy on this build. Depending on what version you make, you're going to get gold or Hall of Fame interceptor. And yeah, I mean, this build really plays very, very good defense. Uh, it's going to get a 91 steel, 94 steel, depending on what version you make, like I said. And you're going to get plucks. You're going to get lanes. You're going to be able to bait people. I mean, look at that jump lane I just got right there. You got to remember, this build 6'3". It doesn't have crazy high wingspan, but it gets the job done on defense. Like, the defense is, in my opinion, elite on this build, especially for a 6'3". Look, at I'm tipping the pass, running all the way down, hustling down, still getting the steal. You can clearly see I'm in tons and tons of lanes. We're getting a bunch of stops. And even right there, I didn't even click a button. I just had my hands up. 
and i just got this steel because this build is a high steel rating and a big enough wingspan to get steels like that okay uh not only that but we get a lot of pluck steels as well especially after the uh patch you know they buffed the plucks a little bit and we be getting pluck steals not only that we can stop the dunk meter from getting dunked on um with this build we only get like a 61 block but look at these animations i'm getting at defending the rim wall be just because i maxed out my block and interior even though i'm 6'3 and those stats aren't super high look at that i'm i just pin block this dude with no blocking badges just because i have a max block on this build but yeah just to go into my court and show you guys some moves you can do obviously get the behind the back get some good step backs get some good hesitations obviously you unlock basically every single jump shot in the entire game as long as it's for short guards you can get reverse dunks i wasn't showing a lot of clips of that in game but i do reverse dunk a lot you get very good safe dunks you see i get ant dunk packages devin booker dunk packages you can nutmeg with this build into spin backs you can really do whatever you want with this build okay but speaking of making builds if you guys want to make your own best builds 2k labs has attribute weight requirements animation requirements badge requirements badge height caps badge tier unlocks all types of inner information when it comes to making your build on their website not only that they literally have every single animation in the game and what you what rating you need to get them so you don't have to like actually go look in the game for yourself you can just look on their website and it shows every single jump shot in the game the green the green window percentage for those jump shots the make percentage the white percentage not only that there's even a custom jumper finder where you can literally plug in your controller and it'll give you and recommend you your own jump shot depending on how you time your button but anyways go to 2k labs use code double h for 20 percent off if you guys do end up signing up the link will be in the description and let's go ahead and go on to making this build showing you guys how to make it as well so now that we're in the builder it's finally time to show you how to make the build now i'm going to show you like i said in the beginning of the video how to make the build that i made how to make a build with maybe five cap breakers how to make the bill with no cap breakers and then maybe like an extra version at the end so you know you guys can kind of get an idea of what maybe you should go for depending on how many cap breakers you have or what kind of style you want to you know base the build off or you could just look at what i made and then kind of mess around with it and just make it to your own liking okay now we made a six foot three point guard now the reason i went six three is first of all i wanted to be six four and under so i could get all those good dribble animations that are locked on six four and under there's even some hop jumpers that are locked six four and under there are some jump shots that are locked six four and under there's also some badges that are locked six four and under uh and there actually is a shooting badge that is locked at six three and under and that's why we went six three and that shooting badge is mini marksman so you have to be six three or shorter to get that badge now is that badge like some crazy op badge no it's not but it's still good especially for the play style that i'm going for with this 99 mid range so that's why i picked it not only that six three gets more stats in the builder than six four so yeah that's a couple reasons why we ultimately ended up going with the six three height now when it comes to the wingspan we'll skip the weight for a second here i wanted to get a 99 mid range so i didn't wasn't planning on going a high three i wanted to get a 99 midi so i went six foot five wingspan which is the highest wingspan you can get while still having the 99 midi max and then i went lowest weight because i just wanted to be as fast as possible i'm not trying to be a bigger build i'm not putting any strength on this build anyways and i'm not looking for a bigger body type if you are looking for that then maybe you can mess around with the weight for yourself but personally i'm not looking for that so i didn't end up doing that right so let's first of all start with the finishing that i went with on this build so starting with the driving dunk i ended up going with an 82 driving dunk the reason i did this is number one at 70 driving dunk you get the hangs off one dunk package that is good but at 80 driving dunk you get devin booker dunk package and at 82 driving dunk you get anthony edwards dunk package and those three dunk packages combined are going to give this build some of the best dunk packages in the game while not getting contact dunks if that makes sense so we're gonna have safe dunks and also really aggressive dunks that launch you from a good distance from the rim to get two points because that's all we're trying to do is get two points when we attack the rim right so yeah 82 driving dunk is actually really good in this game then we ended up going with 40 standing dunk for that standing dunk animation we could go 45 
but that second standing dunk animation that you get at 45 just gets blocked a lot so i never use it so there's really not a reason for me to go 45 so i just ended up going 40 and that's all for the finishing now layup and close shot will automatically be upgraded with some of the attributes that we're going to upgrade soon so you know this isn't the final finishing stats right here now moving on to the shooting we now remember i made this build knowing that i would have 10 cap breakers right so the first five cap breakers i knew i was going to put on mid-range so i ended up going with 94 mid-range once again we're going to show multiple different versions of how to make this build regardless if you have cap breakers or not we're just showing how i made the build okay so 94 mid-range then we're going to go 89 three-pointer the reason i went 89 three-pointer is because i just wanted silver limitless okay not only that but 2k labs did a lot of tests with the limitless range or the three-point make percentage with the three-point rating and there really isn't a point to go past 89 three-pointer plus we're gonna get the legend badges at 99 mid-range so unless i wanted legend limitless which i really don't silver is gonna be more than enough than what i need it for then there's no really reason to go past 89 and you're gonna see on one of the other versions of of these builds that i'm gonna show you i even end up going 83 because I know a lot of people that have a 99 mid-range builds that go 83 three-pointer i ended up going 89 three-pointer and by the way if you guys do want to see more stuff that 2k labs tested or just some more extra information to help you make builds good jump shots etc now anyways moving on to the playmaking we went with a 92 ball handle we also went with a 91 speed with ball now the reason i went 92 ball handles because i knew that when i did get my 10th cap breakers i could put a plus three on ball handle and then put the plus two somewhere else because at 95 ball handle i'll get hall of fame handles for days and i would also get the steve francis dribble moves and then 91 speed ball i went with this because i knew that my tier one badge plus one i would put the lightning launch because legend lightning launch is crazy in this game you know gold the hall of fame isn't a huge jump but that legend lightning launch is crazy now with the pass like usually i always go 70 or 71 but on this specific build, I did not go higher than 67. We will have some other versions of the build where I do go to that 70, 71. And I'm sure a lot of y'all are going to want to go higher pass sack on this build. You know, probably 78 or 82, which is fine. You can put down another stat and put it on pass sack. But personally, I was making this build for the 2v2 court. And I don't need pass sack, you know, really above 70 or 71. And I even went down to 67 and i haven't really had any problems with it okay so moving on to the defense we went with 85 perimeter defense we went with 92 steel but the reason i went 92 is because well, once again i was going to use the plus three cap riggers on ball handle i would have two left that leaves two to put on steel which is 94 steel to get hall of fame interceptor and then the other five because we use 10 cap riggers would be on that mid-range and I ended up getting an 11th cap breaker that I wasn't expecting at level 40 this season, which I put on ball handle again for that Hall of Fame unpluckable for 96 ball handle. Okay. Now with the interior defense, I ended up going with a 65. That is the minimum interior defense you can go without it just automatically upgrading the strength. So that's what I went with. I also maxed the block to 61. Now this is super cheap and it's really, really good. Like I'm telling you some of the block animations I have been getting on this build with just a 61 block it's kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie like maxing the block is a hundred percent worth it on these small builds regardless if you get any badges from it uh, trust me you're definitely gonna want to do that i'm sure y'all saw some of the block clips earlier in the video if you did not go look at them because it's crazy what you can do with a 61 block and a 65 interior with no blocking badges okay now 86 speed we're gonna leave it at that now we gotta go 82 agility because if you look at the shifty shooter badge you need at least an 82 agility to get legend shifty shooter and we're going to put the plus five on mid-range for cap breakers which is going to allow us to get a 99 mid-range which is going to equal legend shifty shooter but we're not going to get it if we don't have an 82 agility so we had to go with that 82 agility left the strength alone and then we went with a 65 vertical for some for one extra dunk package i think it was like ant or booker i can't remember which one needed a 65 vertical but yeah there is the build right there there really was nothing else to upgrade you could just put the last one on free throw or maybe the last you know four on standing dunk i think i ended up going with four standing dunk and this is the exact build that i ended up making so yeah plus five cap breakers the mid-range at 99 mid-range and then if you get another plus five i did plus three at ball handle 
plus two on speed and that level 40 plus one capper i put again on ball handle for the 96 ball handle and y'all saw the badges this build got all legend shooting badges hall of fame handles for days legend lightning launch hall of fame interceptor silver uh, the, the perimeter badges on defense decent you know other bronze and silver badges and this is the build that has led me to a 99 win percent in season two let's go ahead show you guys the shades show y'all the build name as well kevin johnson tyrese halliburton and De'Aaron fox shades and this is my two-way three-level shot creator aka my midi magician build now let's go ahead and show some other versions of the builds or this build that you guys may want to take a look at because i'm sure 99% of y'all probably either don't have 10 cap breakers or even five cap breakers. So let's show some other versions. Now, here we are looking at a five cap breaker version of the build. So if you only have five cap breakers instead of 10, this is something you can look at. Literally the only difference with mine is we just went, went minus two dunk, which is fine. You still get Devin Booker and hangs off one. Not a big deal. 80 dunk is actually really, really good in this game. Still here. It's missing one dunk package that I got. Not a big deal, right? You still get the 99 mid range with the plus five cap breakers. We also went up on the pass sack. So you get the 70 pass sack, which is noticeable from 67, I will say. And then you just lost the 65 interior defense. It went down to a 48. And that's really the only difference. So it's very, very similar from the other five cap breakers. And hey, if you ever do get to that veteran two, you, this could still work for five cap breakers. You still put plus three on the ball handle and you know, the plus two somewhere else. Like you, you, this still wouldn't work too bad if you eventually got to that 10 cap breakers. But yeah, this is the five cap breaker version that I would personally make. Now, once again, if you want free throw or pass act on this build, you can easily get it, you know, turn down the perimeter defense, the steal, maybe you'll only go 86 ball handle. Maybe you don't want to use your plus one on lightning launch. Just may as well go to 86 people ball because the Golden Hall of Famer, this really very, very similar. So you're not putting the plus one on lightning launch, the legend. Then you may as well go 86 people ball, save some stats with that, and just put the rest of those stats on either A, pass, ag, or B, free throw, or both, you know, depending on which one you want, because I know a lot of y'all probably play fives, or you want to be that point guard in the five, so you need a higher pass, ag. Maybe you play threes, you need a higher pass, ag for you. Then, yeah, go ahead and do that. All right, so here is a version of the um, 99 mid range build with no cap breakers. Now, we're going to have a couple different versions of this that you can take a look at. Now, the first one, obviously, you're going to notice the dunk went down to a 70. You still get hangs off one, so you still get one of the very good dunk packages. Let's look at the 40 standing dunk. You get the 99 mid range. We went down to an 83 three pointer. But honestly, the make percentage is still really good on that. You're just losing one uh, badge of limitless range, so it's not a crazy big deal with this build. You still get the 92 ball handle. You did take a hit with the speed with ball, but if you weren't going to use the tier one on lightning launch anyways, then 86 speed with ball. It's going to get the job done. You get the 70 pass sack. You take a big hit on perimeter. You still get the 85 steal. You get max block. You get a 45 steal, 84 speed, so no gold slippery off ball. But you still get the 82 agility to get that legend shifty shooter, 54 vertical. So yeah, as you can see, this build with no cap breakers, takes a big hit if you do want to get that 99 mid range and if you even wanted to get this silver dimer at 71 pass sack you can get it it's just you would have to go down on block and interior and i just thought that that wasn't worth it i'd rather get the max block and then a little interior and then put the rest i guess the standing gun because there's nothing else to put it on so yeah if you want to get the 99 mid range stat with the legend badges and you don't plan on getting cap breakers ever then this isn't this is one of your options okay now to be honest you can even go lower on the ball handle and just say hey i just want kemba walker size up 86 ball handle silver sh dribbling badges and then put you know just a bunch on pass sack and get a whole 85 pass sack and honestly that's looking pretty solid then put the rest to interior i guess and hey maybe a little more to free throw as well 75 free throw and there you go this could be another version of the no cap breaker build honestly this one's looking really nice if you did want to play you know random rec with this or fives or maybe uh you want to play a little threes with this build guard corner like this is a pretty solid version of that if you wanted to go higher pass sack once again, you can go higher free throw as well. Now here is the third version of a no cap breaker version of this build. And honestly, if I had to make one where I knew for sure I was never gonna get cap breakers, 
this is probably something I'll go with. Now, we're going to adjust the pass sag and maybe the free throw in a second here. But look at this is very similar to my cap breaker version. You get the 80 driving dunk, right? So you get the good dunk packages. You're just missing out on Ant, which isn't a big deal. You get the 40 standing dunk. Now, your mid-range isn't a 99, but you still get a 96 mid-range, giving you Hall of Fame shifty, Hall of Fame set shot, and Hall of Fame dead eye, which is very, very good. You get the 83 three-pointer, so your make percentage is still good on that with the bronze limitless range. You have a 71 pass sack, which is serviceable, 92 ball handle. And if you're going to plus one that lightning launch, the legend lightning launch on this build as well. Not only that, the defense is identical outside of a little less interior defense and a little less steel. And then with the agility, that's the only difference in the physicals. You get minus six agility, but you'd really, I mean, that was really only for legend shifty shooter. You know, it would help a little bit on defense, but yeah, this isn't that bad. Now, once again, if you want to sacrifice some stuff, maybe you want to go down to that 70 dunk and only get the hangs off one. Maybe you want to go down to 86 ball handle or 86 speed with ball. So let's say you want to go down to that 86 speed with ball because you don't want to use the plus one on lightning launch. Go ahead and put down the 86 speed with ball. You can put up the pass sack. Hey, that's 78 pass sack right there. Then the rest on agility. Boom. You're up to 82 agility. So this is, hey, this is pretty solid right here, to be honest. If you were to make this build, this is looking solid. 78 pass sack, 82 agility. Maybe we go back down on the agility put up the pass sack again and hey you can get all the way up to 82 pass sack which is gold dimer put the rest on agility 77 agility maybe the rest on interior and then the rest on standing dunk this ain't too bad okay these are some pretty solid options for no cap breakers i think the five cap breaker one was good and then of course my 10 cap breaker one was absolutely insane but let's go ahead and jump into the animations and jump shot that i use for the build now, as you can see, I am on the build that I made, you know, the 6-3 that we've been talking about the whole video. Um, obviously, you guys know I made the 10 cap breaker version of the build. So these are my final stats. Once again, the cap breakers that I put on it. Uh, y'all seen the badges earlier that we showed y'all once again, just to make, sh make sure y'all know. Yeah, I have this build completely maxed out at 99 overall. And this is the only build so far that I've used in season two. And I have a 99 win percent on it shooting 66% from three. These are my hot zones right now on the build. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the animations that I do use on this build. Now, once again, before we get into the animations, make sure to go check out 2K Labs so you guys can see every possible jump shot that you could maybe use for this build, what kind of green windows they got, even animations that 2K Labs suggest that or recommend that you use with shorter builds like this one. But anyways, these are the animations that I'm using if you guys wanna copy them down. These are my dribble moves. We have dribble tutorials out there for you guys. This is the motion style I use, the spin jumper, the hop jumper, the dribble pull up, the go-to shot, okay? So make sure to copy these down. Drop a like for me showing y'all the dribble moves as well. Uh, the jump shot I'm using, a lot of people have been asking about this. This is the jump shot I'm using. It is starter four exclusive because it is Kevin Porter Jr. base. But if you wanna sub out another base for it, you know, Kyrie Irving could work or maybe Cam Thomas, or once again, go to 2K Labs, use my code, and they'll suggest a bunch of really, really good jump shots in there for you. Some of the jump shots I be getting from there as well, and they always end up working out for me. And yeah, so that's the jump shot. The dunk style, these are the dunks that I have on. All I have on is literally just Anthony Edwards, Devin Booker, and then I have the... I don't even have the one foot flashy off ones, but if you do make one of the other versions of it where you don't get Anthony Edwards, I would highly recommend putting that one on, but I also get reverse dunks on this. So I put the baseline reverse off ones and then off two, I put the clutch baseline reverses and those are the dunk packages. Okay, y'all. So, Hey, if you enjoyed the video, if the video helped you out at all, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. And let me know if y'all want me to make any other build builds with these 11 cap breakers that I do have. And hey, eventually we're going to get to 16 cap breakers. And hey, if they keep bringing these cap breakers out for level 40, who knows how many cap breakers we're going to get to at one point. But anyways, the your boy Henry, AKWH, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.